Hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Oscar here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode as we continue to connect the Scarland Fishing Cabin Project to the greater Scarland area via these amazing bridges. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to Scarland. I'm here just making a milkshake before we head out on our building project. So welcome back to Scarland. It's always great to have you here for another build and we're finishing up our bridge project so we've been building these amazing bridges to connect the Scarland fishing cabin to the great of Scarland area and in our last week's twitch stream we built this cave so we no longer have to climb the mountain to get around so look at this fancy cave we built look you can kind of peer out the corners here looking super snazzy oh hey oh bad bad skeleton let me just say, you just got scarred. All right, so as you kind of continue through here, you can, you know, peek your head out here and there and see lots of cool little things, like a little waterfall there. And uh, this is my favorite part, as you kind of transition out of the stone, you know, inner core of the tunnel, you open up into this area with the dirt transition, and you can see the granite's a great transition between uh, stone and dirt, and uh, some leaves poking through, and some vines, and some roots, and yeah, I really like that. I think that kind of came out pretty cool. So let's head on down the pathway here and this leads us to our future project so we're gonna have to do another stream where we make another cool tunnel leading into this section because we're going to make some bridges on oh we're gonna drown on the other side of this hill if we can ever get out of this maze of plants and rivers there we go so as you can see i've laid out a few bits of the bridge at this point and I wanted to leave some of this up so I could give you guys a little demonstration. So what I like to do sometimes is take some of our trusty dirt and use it to lay out a bit of the structure before we actually lay down permanent blocks. That's so you know we can kind of get an idea if this is a good spot for it, if the dimensions are okay. So that's always good to kind of lay out things like we've done here and it helps you kind of visualize what you're building. By doing this, I realize I'm gonna actually move it a little to the left and uh, that one over there a little more to the left, you know, bring it in a little bit. And uh, I want it to be a little closer on this side so when you make the tunnel, we could see into that cave down there and yeah. So that's kind of my thought process, so let's get right into it. And what's nice about the design we're gonna use is it's really expandable if you want to increase the size of it, and it doesn't require a lot of resources. So if you guys wanna follow along and build in your worlds, definitely do that and uh, send me some screenshots when you're done with it. Uh, send it to me on Twitter, I'd love to see it. So we're gonna start off simply here by going one, two, three, four. And on that third block or the fourth block, we're gonna go one, two, three, awesome. And after that, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So see how we did that? We did four, three, and four, once again there. And then we're gonna climb on down here and just repeat the process. So it's uh, it's good to talk to you guys. It seems like a lot lately we've been uh, you know busy b building and different things like that. We haven't just kind of hung out and talked lately. So it's, I think that's what we'll do in this episode. We don't really have any uh, you know, set thing that uh, we need to talk about in this episode. So I thought we just kind of hang out and talk a little bit. So let's go down here and I'll give you guys the final little dimensions here. So we're gonna go solid block and then two blocks like so. So let me just switch that there and there, awesome. So um, first thing I wanna talk about is the thing I'm really excited about and that is I may have very soon have t-shirts. Good times of scar t-shirts. Oh, that'd be like the coolest thing of all time to have like a like a little t-shirt that says good times with scar on it at least i think so and uh, i'm really excited for this and I, I i think it'll be really cool and i really hope you guys like them um i don't have really that many designs made yet actually i have next to none at the moment but the the shop and all that stuff is getting uh, put together and uh, i'm really excited so if you guys have any cool you know designs or you're good at graphic designs let me know let me see some of the stuff that you've um you've uh, built and uh, yeah, maybe we could use one of your designs. I have um, I have a few cool ones I have kind of in my head that I think you guys will like, but it, of course, if you guys have any uh, designs of your own, definitely let me know and I'll wanna take a look at them. I, th I think this could be really cool and um, I'm just so excited and definitely um, be a Christmas presents for my family. <laughs> All right, so we got that kind of laid out and uh, let's just clear out this section just a little bit there we go i've always wanted them like always wanted like a like a shirt that says good times with scar or like a logo or 
something along those lines. I think that would just be like the coolest thing um, to have. I, at least I, I think so. And I don't know if anybody will want them, but at least I'll have one and I'll give my family members some for Christmas. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's 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 looking good. That's looking great. All right, so let's go into phase two of our build here, and then uh, we're gonna get out. Um, let's see. Let me think for a second. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here. So on that lower tier, we're gonna add some milk chocolate wood, and I think that's a good way of doing it. I think that's good. So we're gonna do that over here. Yeah, yeah. This is how we're gonna do it just below that tier right there. See how we're using the same kind of colors and uh, design as the other bridges. It kind of keeps things, you know, pretty well symmetrical and it kind of keeps a nice design um, kind of going throughout the build here. So I think that's pretty good. There we go. Add that down below and we're gonna add one right there. So I'm making this video a little bit early this week because I've got quite a few uh, doctor's appointments and different things like that. And one thing that Maybe it'll actually make me feel better, which is nice. And it's, it's kind of a change to ever go to the hospital to actually make myself feel better. It seems like whenever I go there, it's usually some way or another I end up coming out worse or not feeling as good as I went in. Um, I'm going to start getting fluids every uh, week now. Uh, go in and then they'll uh, infuse a bag of IV fluids um, to kind of have a kind of Give me some energy, you know, maybe it'll help with my heart, my like dizziness, energy level a little bit. I get dehydrated really easily and uh, it'll kind of make up for what I don't usually get. So I actually might feel a little bit better and I might have some more energy, which is amazing. And I'm really, really looking forward to that. So two nice things actually happened this week. You know, it's, it's kind of nice to have a kind of a, a couple wins once in a while and to uh, get that t-shirt shop maybe up and running, which... Like I said, I'm super excited for it. And, um, and getting these uh, fluids, which I really, really hope that they uh, kind of improve a little bit of my health and uh, make me feel a little bit better and have some more energy. More energy means more videos, more live streams, different things like that. That's, you know, a lot of times I want a live stream, but live streaming kind of takes a big hit on my energy level. And if I had some more, I would be able to live stream more. And I think that would be really fun. And there we go. We've got our first bridge complete. Look at this. I love it. And I love not having the rails on the sides. Now, Bob the Building Creeper Inspector would not approve of not having rails on the sides of our bridge here. But uh, I love it. It makes it so you can see a nice view. And uh, you know if there was somebody, you know, like myself in a wheelchair, and you want to look at a cool view, instead of having a rail right in front of your face, you know, like the handrail's usually like right in your eye level. And when you're trying to look at a nice view of something, it's like right there and you're just blocking your camera. This way, we don't have any of that. Haha, <laughs> looking super snazzy. All right, so give me one second. I want to kind of clear this mountain out to prep for our next build. So I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And as you can see, I've got some little helpers down there working on some of my sand. Uh, you know, I'm kind of changing the sand dudes over there. So I got my little helpers over there. And uh, here's our bridge. So I've added these little columns on the sides. I think that really makes it look nice. And let's cross over here. And as you can see, this area looks a little uh, ugly, but we'll uh, make it scottastic eventually. Uh, once we get to that point, uh, we'll make this area look a lot nicer. So using our previous landmark here of trying to lay out things, we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to change it up using that. We are going to, let's see, let me get that out of the way. Let me get a little bit of dirt. And I'm going to place the first block right there. So it's a little bit farther in. Okay. And it's a little bit farther over. So this is, I think this is going to work out great. So that is two, three, four. So that, hey, my little helpers, you know. They like to help, but they also kind of like to goof around, you know, stick me with like a little, uh, little poke there. All right. So we're going to go up one more time and this is going to be three. There we go. And we're going to do another set of three right here. And then from here is going to be six. So that is two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Awesome. And then I'm going to jump on over here and I'm going to place two more blocks like so. And then we'll just repeat the process. So let's jump on down and then we're gonna go from here. So two sets of three. So one more there, one more here, and then this should be our fourth one right here. Now this will push right up against the, the sand there, making that absolutely perfect. Oh, that is epic, I love it. Okay, so now we gotta kind of decide how we're gonna go from here. So let's get out some materials here. 
So let's get out some more dark oak and move that. All right, good. So we're gonna start out by going, let's see. So similar to what we've done on the other side, we're gonna remove that mistake and start to build up over here. So let's fly on over here. There we go. We should have probably built up some scaffolding, some actual scaffolding, because that's not really, that can't really be considered a scaffolding. All right, and we're gonna put that right there, I think. Let's hop over here real quick and kind of see how we're doing. Yeah, that's work, that'll work, that'll work, that'll be great. And then we'll put that right there, and put that there, and then just kind of continue this design as we flow our way up the bridge. There we go. Yeah, this is going to look wonderful. And uh, I want to go over a little bit about the design and placement also of the bridge, kind of how that that process was when I was kind of in here looking on how to arrange these bridges. So when you're kind of you know mapping out bridges, think of landmarks think of you know interesting train pieces that you want to be highlighted so you're just walking you know but think about things you're going to see like the waterfall see as you're walking down this section you see the cool little waterfall as you walk up that bridge there you can see the cool overhanging trees um, and then once we get over here at least what i hope is a look at some of the bridges out in the distance when i can uh, move up my render distance a little bit hopefully soon um, so that's kind of my my thought process of try to look for landmarks think of them as you know little uh incentives for you to walk over to this area like ooh, what's that i want to explore around that corner so uh we talked a little bit about this in my haunted mansion series about uh, themed entertainment design and uh, it kind of goes back to kind of my imagineers that i like to talk about in that series is try to think of landmarks in disneyland so disneyland has landmarks that uh that help people, you know, kind of navigate the park. There are things that you might not really even realize you're looking at. And um, so certain things like, you know, that are really obvious, like the castle and stuff like that, they use those as kind of what they call weenies that uh, entice you to walk a little closer, walk into this direction, walk into this shop, buy a Mickey Mouse um, stuffed toy. So stuff like that. As you walk over this, you're like, ooh, look at that waterfall. I want to get closer. And then you follow the path and you see the cool trees and stuff like that. And then you're walking away from the project you kind of see the bridges out in the distance and you're like "Ooh, I want to explore that so um, yeah so just things to think about when you're uh, laying out your your bridges especially when you have multiple bridges that you're working with all right hello friends down there all right so give me one second let me make some proper scaffolding and uh, let my uh, workers here off for the day I'll be right back all right and welcome back as you can see look at those bridges they're gonna look awesome when we build up the terrain around them add the tunnels here and there and then fix up that section over there in today's live stream so this is um, will be put up on Saturday and uh, I will be doing a live stream a little bit later in the day so uh, we'll uh, fix up this area too and get that all sorted out so let's head on the other side over here and uh, work on this side a little bit here. So we still have some more work to do. So we'll add some sections right there and come below here at that. Perfect. So what we're doing is these sections that need to be beefed up a little bit. We're just adding some additional dark chocolate slabs through here. And then let me clear the way out of here. Very good, very good. Clear the way, clear the way. There we go, awesome. And then let's see, let's get this in there like so. Perfect, and now let's get out our milk chocolate. And then what we're gonna do for these, is we're going to start bringing them on that lower tier block. There we go, similar to what we did on the smaller one. And then that will create pretty darn awesome design. There we go. So get that done. So for our next episode, we have two more of these to build, but to kind of make that episode still interesting, I've got some, uh, I've got some roller coaster prep we're gonna do. We're gonna start uh, bringing over supplies and also in that episode, maybe build like, you know, a couple little work areas and stuff like that because the roller coaster project is starting very soon. There we go, perfect, awesome. So now we have a cool little walkways now and they're almost complete. These are almost complete. I'm so excited to finally get these things down and be able to walk because I've actually designed them about a month ago. So it's really excited to finally, you know, show them to you guys. And hopefully you've liked these uh, kind of crazy um, bridge designs. Um, the design of them was to try to keep them, let's make sure this is all lined up. Perfect, perfect, just the way we like it. Um, the design of these were to be kind of modern. So they didn't have any use of, let me double check to make sure everything I think is good. Um, 
not, not to have cobblestone or use of any you know kind of rough material it was all supposed to be kind of smooth modern um, design to to fit our fishing cabin project and there we go well, look at that we can cross our bridge there hey i thought i'd let you out for the day you can go home you're done working here all right look at this now we can cross here look at our amazing waterfall soon to be fancy pathway through the sand dune and into the mountain here to go off to the fishing cabin look at uh oh see that's why i guess we need to put safety rails on the sides of these zombies just go flying right off of them <laughs> well guys i really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch today's video and i really hope you are inspired to uh, make some cool little bridges for your own world and if you do definitely let me know and until next time We'll see you later, and don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Partial to milk chocolate. What do you What do you guys like? Uh, what, what is your favorite, uh, dark chocolate or milk chocolate? I'm not talking about the colors of the of the woods, but uh, just in you know general, uh, which chocolate do you guys uh, prefer? I've always been a milk chocolate.